Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Bats Out of Hell by Guy N. Smith. Now, Bats Out of Hell was published in 1978. Now, Guy N. Smith is a British author who is perhaps best known for his Killer Crab series, which started with his 1976 novel, Night of the Crabs. And the best way I could describe his books is they're basically B-movies in book form. Now, that is boiling it down, but I also think that description is pretty apt, at least for the books I've read from him. And I would almost say the same thing about Bats Out of Hell, but there is actually some serious social commentary in this book about the environment and about mankind fucking with nature, which, granted, a lot of killer animal movies and killer animal books from around this time had that same social commentary. But this book does go into that, and the ending is actually pretty bleak. Now, based on the title and based on this cover here, you would think this is some nature run amok story about killer bats, and it is, but really what this novel is, is it's a viral outbreak story. The bats are really just the carriers of the virus, and the real horror of the story comes from how this virus affects humans, and also how society starts to break down out of the fear of this virus. Now, what the plot of Bats Out of Hell is it's about a scientist named Brian Newman who's experimenting with a highly mutated form of meningitis in bats. But one night he gets into a fight with his female assistant who he's been sleeping with, a fight that he very much starts because this guy's a freaking asshole. And this fight involves hitting, pushing, and shoving, and the glass cage in which the bats were being contained is knocked over and it breaks, and the window to the lab was open, so these disease-ridden bats end up escaping. And Newman admits his mistake to his superiors, but at first they don't really take this threat seriously, until the bats start spreading the virus to other bats, and the bats start attacking humans and spread the virus to them. Them. And pretty soon the British government declares a state of emergency and martial law is declared, but you start to see the social order start to break down. Now, I thought Bats Out of Hell was a pretty decent book, and it's a pretty quick read, too. It's only 150 pages. I read the book in about two days, but most people could probably read this in about a day. It's a book that really does get in, does its thing, and gets out. And every so often, I really do appreciate books like that. These just short little books that aren't meant to be anything too complex. Not that I mind complex or long novels by any means, but every so often, I do want something that, again, is just a quick read. And as I said, there is actually some serious social commentary in this novel, whether Guy N. Smith intended it or not. And the ending of this novel is actually pretty bleak and grim, because the way they end up fighting these bats that are spreading the disease, the ending of the novel is almost a was-the-cure-worse-than-the-disease kind of ending, where it really does touch on the environmental implications of what the characters do to get rid of the bats. Like, it's a novel about what happens when science goes unchecked, when man fucks with nature, when man plays God. Those are themes you see going all the way back to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, but they're themes that are still very much relevant today, and you see that very much in this book, again, whether Guy N. Smith intended it or not. Now, one criticism I would have is, with the exception of the main character, I would say most of the characters are pretty two-dimensional, and the main character... he is three-dimensional in the sense that, really, he's kind of an asshole. He's also kind of misogynistic as well, like his female assistant who he's sleeping with, it turns out that he's also cheating on her in the beginning of the story, and she finds this out, and when she calls him out on it, he actually hits her. And that's what starts the fight that ends up leading to the bats accidentally getting let out. Granted, he does apologize for that. At the same time, I could see some people having a problem with that, especially looking at it from a 21st century lens. Granted, he's not as sexist as some of the other characters in the book. While he definitely seems to have some issues with women, he still seems to respect her as a scientist, whereas the director of the facility where they work 
at one point outright says, women and science don't mix. At the same time, while he is the hero of the story, I don't think he's meant to be that likable of a guy, because he really doesn't accomplish much throughout this story, and the main conflict of the story is kind of his fault. And as I said, the ending of this is kind of a was the cure worse than the disease kind of ending. I will say that his lab assistant slash girlfriend, Susan, who is the one prominent female character in this book, the way she's portrayed is definitely questionable by today's standards. Like, eventually he does apologize for how he's treated her, but then she kind of says something to the effect of, oh, I knew how you were since the beginning, and you'll probably do it again. Now, granted, that's her prerogative, but again, I could see people, especially some people in today's day and age, having an issue with that. There's also an attempted rape scene involving this character that I don't want to say the scene isn't taken seriously, but it's never really brought up again, and it almost comes off like the characters are just kind of shrugging it off a little bit. A lot of that, I hate to say it, I do kind of chalk up to the book was written in a different time. But besides that, I thought Bats Out of Hell was a very entertaining read, and I do recommend it. So that was my review on Bats Out of Hell by Guy N. Smith, and bye.